Hey guys, Bales are hey here. It is currently 2.05 a.m. on July the 2nd, and I am playing Purple Space Program. This will be my first actual video to record, and honestly, I hope it goes well. You know, we're gonna start a new one. I'm gonna name it The Guild. Just, you know, because the channel. Let's do sandbox mode, I feel like I'm messing around. Let's pick a kick ass flag. Hmm. This bitch. And starting now. So I'll be fun. Mm. <laughs> Alright. So let's uh let's go right here. Let's see what we got. Alright. So let's name this one Bales Mobile. Oh, we're gonna start. Uh, well, first I have Mechja, but I just want to say that it's pretty much, if you don't know what it is, it's cheating in a nutshell. We'll see what I mean in a moment. Uh, how about we just try to get a guy to orbit first, you know? Let's, let's not you know, go too hard on this. I'm going to design a basic rocket. Let's see. Structural, is that where? Yeah, that's where all the decouplers are. Oh, we need a parachute on this guy, though. Don't have a parachute, he might die. Oh. That's, um, the regular parachute right there. Is this? Oh, that's, that's big. Okay. Alright. So, we're gonna do some of this. Good old normal. Oh, what the fuck? Normal fuel tanks. And, let's see, so that's 215 thrust. 200. Let's, let's give this second stage 200s. Aerodynamic. Uh, I wish my mouse would stop not working. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, this is my first actual you know, commentating video, and it's kind of weird. I mean, I had an intro earlier. It wasn't really commentating. It's not really commentating now. I'm kind of just talking. But I hope you guys don't mind if you know this has any good viewers. I uh, hope you're doing well. Yeah, ooh, ooh some of these bitches. Alright, let's give ourselves four of these beautiful, beautiful engines. Smack on some jumbo fuel tanks. Alright, now let's see what I can do here. I want. Where's the. I need the I need the thrust that isn't thirty thousand kilometers an hour. I need there it is. Okay. Now listen, we're gonna we're gonna need some struts here. All right. I use the I use a mod. I think it's the Anvil mod. Is this has this one? It's the uh, heavy strut connector. Let's yeah. Let's make things not fly off into oblivion. Let's see if I can get some good protective nose cones on the Yeah, that's that's what we're talking about. Alright, now I gotta zoom out a bit. Alright, so some launch stability thing majiggers. Let's see some of this. Yeah, oof. This is looking beautiful. Ah, I might get in the way actually. But let's just Just attach these where we can. Honestly. And the actual command pod. Ugh, we're gonna first fix that there. And we're gonna have to give ourselves some RCS because I don't want to be stuck without RCS, effectively. Um, RCS, if you don't know that, as the reaction control system, at least I hope that's what it stands for, so it don't sound stupid. Uh, it's used in real life. It's to basically turn the ship, maneuver in various circles, 
and stuff like that. Like, you know, you'll see once we get into space. I mean, if assuming you've played this before and or seen any gameplay footage of it, you'll see. Oh, we gotta put mech jeb on here, because I don't know how to pilot things without mech jeb. Um I don't like putting it on the actual cockpit, because when it goes down it just doesn't look good. So let's just do that. Need some solar sails on this guy. We're gonna. I wish I had a big one. I think I have a big one somewhere. Yeah, these guys. I want these guys. So you'll just see, they'll open up and they'll look beautiful. Let's put more in the middle so they look nicer. Alright, now we're gonna need some wings on this just to give this thing some aerodynamic qualities, even though we will be in space where there's no air, you never know what you might need. You know, good rocket. That's pretty nice. Looks actually very nice. Alright, well, let's get the staging right. Yeah. Alright, let's launch it. Let's launch it. Let's save it first. Let's launch it. Alright. Let's see where we go. Okay, Jebediah Kerman might be the first Kerbal in space on this particular one. That sets us to a good 85 kilometers. Prevent overheats. Stop at stage two. Let it descent path. I don't. That, I'm just gonna. And do that. Alright, ready? And launching. And then this is the RCS up here, you see it. Oh, I guess I forgot SAS, so it's it's not gonna oh wait, yeah, it's not gonna work. Oops. Oh, this thing can launch pretty beautifully, it looks like. I mean Yeah. Alright, let's see how let's see how this goes. It's kind of just sitting and watching him uh, let's, let's check out what's in the cockpit. Pretty damn slow. I can also just spin this thing. Nope, nope, I don't want to. Yep. So, yeah, while this thing's launching, I mean, might as well have a nice conversation with myself because you no know, one can answer me. Um, yeah, it's 2 12 in the morning for the past about four hours. I've been trying to hit Camp Studio to work effectively, and so far it is. Hopefully, it stays working that way. Ah, jeez, I apologize for that. Wow, that is a tight turn. Yeah, I think we're having a malfunction. Yeah, I think we're having a malfunction. Yeah, we're having a malfunction. Yeah, pay some malfunction. Again, those tend to happen in this game. Quite a bit, actually. So where is? Oof! Almost out of atmosphere. Let's check this map here. Almost to where it needs to be. It's beautiful. I don't know why this is falling apart. Anyways, yeah, see, look at this thing. This is beautiful. I am proud of myself, except for the uneven these things, but other than that, I'm pretty proud of myself. Look, he's actually smiling. Well, actually, Jeb smiles all the time. See, the thing about Jebediah Kerman is that he'll be screaming when you're perfectly fine. And then when you're about to crash and burn to your death, is when he'll start smiling. He is special. That's where kind of Mech Jeb came from. You know, it's him. He's a great fucking pilot. Well, I really wish someone would do a legitimate, like, grab it, like, burn. I don't know, usually it... Usually it's... Oh, there it is. 
speed things along here. T minus 40, 30, 20. 17, I'm so lazy, I don't even want to wait that long. Okay. Impatient is probably the correct word. Lazy would mean I wouldn't want to wait that long. Just think about it in a different kind of way. Yeah, so, I'm going to be igniting the engines. It's supposed to be right now, so I'm just... I'm just gonna. I I don't know what's going on. I really hope. Are you gonna? Anytime soon? There they are. Okay. Well, the orbit's gonna be a little bit off, but we can deal with it. Three, two, one. Orbit achieved. Slightly off course, but fun. I mean, actually, way off course. See, missing by just 14 seconds screwed everything up. Now we're gonna disconnect here a little bit. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we. Oh, in space. Oh, see, there, there, the RCS is firing. Now we're going to extend the solar panels. And there we go. Beautiful planet. You know, what? let's make uh, let's make Jeff do space spacewalk. Wow. Look at this. Look at this. We are in space. This is the closest I'll probably ever get to being an astronaut or anything like that. See, when I was a kid, this, this, is, my, this is my only dream, to be an astronaut. Right now, my only dream is to be able to go to space and see the stars just once. And once I do that, that is when I can die knowing that I achieved something great. Only a handful of humans have been in, this, in even close to outer space, as in like, we haven't even left the orbit of Earth in a manned mission. I envy the first people who will be on Mars because they are going to be living a dream that we have all had at least once unless you're, you know, scared of space or some shit, but, you know, you get my point. Oh god, grab it, grab it, no, stop it. So I think Jebediah is screwed because he doesn't... Trying not to be impatient, but it's getting really hard not to. Alright, well, yeah, this is starting to get really annoying. Oh god. Okay. Are you gonna are you gonna grab on? Are you gonna are you gonna fire truck? Okay. Oh no, don't ram into the fucking solar panels. Stop it. God damn it. Uh, is this gonna be like gravity, honestly? Because if so, there's no satellites out here to blow things up. So he's just gonna be out here for a long time. Ah, oh, so bitch. I wonder if I can. Okay, I'm gonna test something. Alright. Ready? Get this thing now, rotation. There, maybe I can. I can change my viewpoint. Grab, 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 grab. Ah, some bitch. Come on, man. Come on, man. I could have screwed myself over and launched my. Oh, 
Oh, am I on mono propellant? Nope. Oh, okay. Sing. You might. Alright, if he runs out of mono propellant, like the EVA propellant, whatever, he's screwed. As in, no one's, no one's coming for him. Oh, I broke things. And I regret the decision. I regret the decision, EVA. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on. You can do it. Come on. Stop going. Th there we go. Okay, we're good. Alright, now I'm just going to deorbit this man. And we will be good. Alright, so basically a deorbit burn works like um, basically launch the rocket in any direction. Like, technically, you're supposed to amp that little yellow circle thing with the X through it, but I kind of choose just to do what I want, and it works just fine, as you can obviously see. See? No. No. Which way am I going, though? Am I going this way? Alright, so I now no longer have power. So hopefully, I won't regret my decisions. See, he's smiling. He's fucking smiling. What the hell? Oh, we're dropping at a steady, steady speed. Oh, the Bales Mobile. Oh, it's a probe. What? No. Yeah, we are coming down. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. All right. Try to line this up with where we're actually going, because you see. I don't. I just. I just want this. Be a nice peaceful time. Going down. And we are entering atmosphere now. So everything should be good. Yeah, pretty much. Oh jeez. Oh oh no. This is why you don't move while you're in warp. Okay, let's just bring this back here. No, I really wish this thing would deorbit faster, honestly. <sighs> okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Alright, I'm starting to pro. Oh, there's some re entry effects. Shit's picking up. Shit's picking up. Oof. We are approaching a large amount of bullshit. Is the atmosphere thin right here? I don't know. I don't know where we're landing either. I can't see. But I do know I should probably deploy the chute soon. Like, probably now. Yeah. You know, well, this is the first time I've ever actually had a mission work right on the first go. I mean, it didn't. It wasn't completely right, but it was right enough. It was almost left. All right. And approaching ground zero. I wonder if I can plant a flag. I'll plant a flag. Oh, there's lights over there. You want to check it out? Oh, I do. Seriously, the fact that there's lights right there is kind of weird. Alright, so we're gonna check out if there's lights. Let go. Yeah, plant flag. Alright, now we're gonna name this thing. And the plaque will read 
where one Jeb Now where are those where are those lights coming from? There. All right. Well, this is gonna be a long walk, so no, I'm just gonna stop the video now, and I'll tell you when I get there. So, anyways, Bales O'Hay signing off.